Thunder. Thunder. Viking thunder. and the Thunder. Thunder. Look, we're Bad Dragons at the end awesome. farm, guys. We're, we could be Imagine Dragons. Let's put, instead of Lightning and Thunder, let's have peanut butter in the jelly. Jelly. Peanut butter in the jelly. Jelly. We have a new one in the song right here. Might as well. Ugh, garbage. That song is garbage. <laughs> How you doing, big guy? I'm um, good, man. I can see Paul McCartney. Live. What? Live at the live dead. from Syracuse Town. What do you think got shot? First of all, uh, there was fire. Uh, the stage got lit on fire. Oh, I saw the uh, pictures. Uh, during Live or Let Die, he just set off all the fireworks. Like, they're like, how many fireworks come up? I was like, well, live them. And like, <laughs> just fucking put them on them, Ken. Yeah. I was like, yeah. is this a wrestling? <laughs> uh, WrestleMania right now? Kane <laughs> comes out. <laughs> also, <laughs> he's, he's singing during this. Like, I would be like, oh, God, oh, God. Like, that was like PTSD from the real flashback. <laughs> I took, I dropped some acid uh, in Bombay. Uh, he also, I didn't know this, him and John Lennon wrote, wrote the Rolling Stones' first number one single. I, no, I totally believe that. Uh, okay, guys, here's our beer first off. So before, I'm going to keep going with some Paul McCartney because I want to hear more about that. Grungeist Pale Ale. This is a uh, Pale Batch. Matt got this, and somehow we already had it because we yeah, were, I thought we're both beer lovers. lovers. But this, this, was, this is good. I had it earlier. Prost. I think what happened is I had this and I saved two bottles of it. Oh, it's good. It's good. Mm. I usually like hoppy stuff. That's great. It's like just yeah. enough hops. Yeah, just a little bit. And, and a little multi The smell when you open it is really the best. It's got like this like floral smell. Yeah, we'll put it up so you guys can smell. Oh. Smell and vision. I think it'd be a good um, But he played for three hours straight without stopping. Uh, there's one part he's like, I know I know all the songs that you guys like because it looks like a galaxy out there with all your phones up. Yeah. He's like, I know all the new stuff because it looks like a black hole. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, and you know what? We don't care. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Yeah, he was he was charming. He was still had moves, man. I like if we if we were that old, we'd be like. Just waiting for the slow march. My back that. hurts just <laughs> sitting here. Like, um, uh, mine did, because first of all, the dome seats are awful. Oh, there's I right. forgot, I forgot, I forgot. And I had, like, Southern Jew next to me. My arms are like, again. Like, this is <laughs> I'm like, with Jess. So then we have this, this, like, 45 year old man and his 15 year old girlfriend behind us, and she keeps hitting me on the head. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm like, and Jess is like, free, she keeps, it's like, she's like, oh, is this a Beatles song? And Jess is like, I'm like, honey, just watch, just watch the show. Is this a Beatles song? He's like, he's, she's like, can yeah, I see pictures of your so wife? She's, this was one thing she said. Can I see pictures of your wife? And they're like looking at his phone. To you or to, to, oh, to him? Oh, to okay. the dude. And I was like, oh, this is super weird. Oh, like maybe a first size he's date. Like, like, this is weird. Like, maybe it's like a prostitute. And you, like, she was like an sport. underage prostitute. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it was super, it was pretty hilarious. But Jess was like freaking out about it. Honey, he was awesome. That's all I can notice. You know, he was like up there. He played oh, back, I didn't know, like, back the 45 year old guy was awesome. He, he was awesome. Man, we're going to that 15 year old tail. Yeah. Oh, boy. So, uh, <laughs> um, Paul McCartney really uh, he blew me out of the Now, did they, did they do the half dome or the full dome configuration? Full dome. He was oh, like, really? He was where, all, where are you sitting? He this was like, all, sitting. Well, it, was like it was like four fifths dome. He was like all the way in the end zone, basically. That That's where his stage was. We were. So, basically, the basketball court set up or the opposite? It would be the opposite side, probably. The opposite yeah, side. Yeah, usually the opposite, the opposite side. side. Because right. that way they don't have to get, like, yeah. clean up all the shit on the basketball yeah. court. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, it was like, he was like in the end zone almost on the other side. That's how far yeah. it was. Yeah, that's um, usually how they do that. They filled that. It was like 45, 46,000 people, I think. Nice. Um, uh, and it was. It was so, cool. bigger than Macklemore. It was bigger than Macklemore. It was better than Macklemore's. I like Macklemore's concert, but he really, I mean, he put out such a yeah, good show. He did four or five seconds. He's got just so much stuff. He did that song, remember that? Four or five seconds from Wildland. He's like, I wrote this song, and it's like, I retooled a few times a couple years ago. Some of you may have heard of it. <laughs> you know, because Kanye West made me famous. Uh, did he say that? No, he didn't. Oh, I wish he did. That's what I was thinking. I was like, oh, oh please. But I, I was like, you did that song? Who is this Paul McCartney He guy? did a song... Uh, from the the the, uh, the the his first group, and now I can't remember. I'm gonna kill myself. The barrel men, the the barrel, bar, the, the quarry men, the quarry men, the quarry men. Yes, and it was good. I was like, that was an entertaining song too. Uh, it was a, he did like a whole genre of the most best, Beatles stuff, but the best quarry. Well, did Blackbird? Blackbird was like uh, the Obamateer maybe. It's like a, and now it's just is you. Did you bring Aiden with you? Was still adults? No, just okay. me and Jess, and then. Uh, Jess's two brothers, uh, one of whom is like the biggest Beatles fan. Uh, uh, that's a young kid, anyway. And then uh, young Jess, boy, Jess's dad, and his best friend. 
Thunder Buddies together. Sounds good. Thunder Buddies. So we had we all we we're all it was like two seats in different places. So we all it was just me and Jess. And I probably should have said how my week was first because yours obviously sounded a lot more awesome. No, it was it was cool. It was good. I went apple picking. Hey, apple picking is good. And I got off work. It was the best part. I had to work. Yeah. I was sad because I wanted to ask mom, but it was super early, so I said I didn't want to wake her up. And, and uh, it was also we had to wait in line for a while because we, we were James like, let's late? get there at ten. Yeah, well, James like let's get there at ten. So of course Connor's like let's get there at ten thirty, and then everyone's there already. So, but we saw we we, we got a nice seat in the shade. Well, for many Chris, there was no line. It was unless I went on a Tuesday though. Yeah. And so yeah, we went on. Well, you should go on Tuesdays, <laughs> not Sundays, guys. Not Sundays or Saturday. We went on Saturday. But Wednesday. That's what um, but uh, but yeah, so, yeah. I'm, my week's been you know pretty pretty chill. Um, Connor's birthday is uh, is going to be after this recording is posted, so Wednesday the twenty seventh. Uh, uh, so so we're already will his third birthday. Three. Uh, he, wow. he got some awesome gifts already. Where does the time go, man? I got the gifts from from this guy already at the the barbecue. It's a bank, guys. You put money in. I think it weighs like fourteen pounds. Hulkbuster. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I put some Hulkbuster money in there. That's why. Um, but uh, yeah, that's good to hear. And apples, always good. Gemma can now say apples because we asked her what she wants to eat. She goes apple. She also said bubble today. Nice. Because like, we, she did like a little drawing of like these orange dots that said orange, orange. And so I'm like, oh, this is a really nice drawing. She goes bubble. It bubbles. It bubbles. And I was like, oh, cool. It's bubbles. Cool. Cool beans, jelly beans. Uh, let's get through what we got here, dude. Let's do this. Because you have two things I've heard. I have two. And one is a callback to last week, so let's get to that one first. Did you even try? Okay, I did. I did. I did. You're going to like this. Okay. Castle Run, Mike. We didn't. We only scratched the surface on this last week, and this became like this issue on the internet, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, over the five days or whatever that between these two podcasts, I guess there's a lot of people who are pissed off because they were up in arms. They're like, well, the Castle Run, well, what are you going to do? Talk about him being, like, having meat nerf herders, too? Like, are you just hitting up, trying to hit all the beats? But I thought a little bit more into this, and there's actually I, I came up with this. Okay, like this is oh boy, this is your theory. Okay, exclusive guys. Okay, I gotta post this the, tomorrow. The night. first, the first um, season of Rebels, there was one of the scenes was in uh, the Castle Spice Mines, and it, it was a Wookiee themed episode <laughs> where the Wookiees were being kidnapped from Kashyyyk and brought there to mine. Uh, being brought there to mind uh, the, the spices and basically they were it was like an inhumane treatment and they were just being brought there to die sure. and uh, um, Ezra and co helped liberate these Wookiees uh, but let's say now that one of these slaves is Chewbacca okay and when uh, Han who's right now dealing with spices right, right, all he's dealing in spi- he's spices. dealing in spice probably for Jabba uh he feels bad. He meets this Wookiee. He wants to help him. He saves this Wookiee from the mine. Maybe cost. Maybe that's what costs him uh, Jabba's uh, faith, and that's what gets him uh, gets in trouble with Jabba. Um, yeah, maybe he has to blow the shipment when he's flying out of there, or something like that. Uh, and now this kind of sets up his whole backstory just in one fell swoop of what the castle run ends up being. Like his castle run ends up being him trying to get away from these people that are trying to catch him. With Chewbacca, who now is in the light text, he saved him. Well, I mean, and we, we, we it's already established that Han is the worst smuggler. Like, yeah. he's the worst. He's terrible. And, like, he has this great ship, too, for smuggling. And they established that new movies but and old movies. The fact that he is a famous smuggler <laughs> is not a good thing. Famously, yeah, you're yeah. not. Like, like, I wish you know you are. not going to know I'm a smuggler. No, it's Han Solo. He's definitely a smuggler. That guy. He smuggles things. He's a criminal. Smuggling is I heard you once flew away from something really fast. <laughs> That's what you're known for. You're good at leaving your cargo and <laughs> flying the heck out of here. Let's hire him. Like, no, okay, well. And, what, and see, what I like, though, is that actually ties into why he's transporting. He's like, yeah, I'm a transport. I'll transport you to a place because we need money right now because I'm a terrible smuggler. Well, um, and, and so that's how he got that Wookiee life debt. Exclusive guys, you heard it here he first. He saved him. Find Chewbacca uh, in the I Kessel like, Run. I, all that kind of fit together, and I didn't really. I think still that. hope that he lied. He lied about the Kessel Run somehow, and like just like embellish it. I think that'd be cool. That'd be a cool, like character because he is a liar. He's a jerk, and, and that'd be a fun character. Maybe it was like, fourteen. Yeah, like it was thirteen. It's twelve. Yeah, because he said yeah. that because she thought it was fourteen. Yeah, yeah. rated. So it'd yeah. be funny if that that was a good callback to it. But you know, I still hope to see some nerf herders. I like that Rebel connection though. It's good. I I have not re- watched Rebels. Rebels Rebel is good, and I watched the whole first season. That's all I've watched. And what? So, it was good because that's, so what, that's what they have to base Kessel on was is just that if Ezra was saving yeah. the Wookiees, but Han saved 
Chubat, would you say that Han's better than Ezra? Maybe he met Ezra. Who knows? Probably not. I'm not sure they put Ezra. There's, the, there's, there, there's a theory that Ezra is Snoke. That's one of the theories. Uh, yeah, but of course there is. Well, where's Ezra? We need to know. We need to know, guys. I always, mur I always murdered more being brought up this child, more child death than the Star Wars. Well, a lot of people think he might be some kind of gray Jedi too, because uh, he he was almost like Darth Maul is kind of like shaping him towards the dark side Ooh, a little bit. Darthy in the uh, in the Rebels canon, and that's canon. So um, I wanted yeah. to get that gun, that gun that turns into lightsaber. Back. That was cool. Why you want this shoot you? Did you? I got, did I gotta make well, it go down and shoot? Somebody figures somebody yeah, somebody figured out the lightsaber and guns. You're just like boom a boom, like just like coming across and shooting people. Well, gun blade of some sort. I've heard that the strongest stars are made of hearts of Kaiba. Kaiba? Kaiba. It's me, Galen. Uh, here you go, Jim, I got this for you. It's it's yeah. actually from the middle of the star, so it's radioactive and dense. Yeah, this is the it'll just choke you yeah. out. Like, literally, it's like a like a neutron star. The shit you don't want that around your neck, especially this much. It's like, like it'll like this burn weighs a, as much as the whole planet. Like it'll burn a hole in the chest. <laughs> it'll actually start you rotating around it gravitationally until you crash into it. It'll rip your you. molecules apart and just make it you part of it. <laughs> Guys, do not get a Kyber crystal. You don't want it. That's really that's the name of this episode and a cautionary tale. Uh, so the V cre creator Armando Inanucci mm -hmm. uh, is creating a space comedy for HBO, like a sci-fi yeah. space comedy. Do you think comedy. he's trying to do what uh, the Orville? Orville? I thought the same thing. I was like, I think maybe he was just Have like. Have you watched Orville? I haven't watched it yet. I want to watch it though. I, I actually, um, I found an access to Star Trek Discovery, and I want to watch that too. But I, I, I've been hearing from people that it's mediocre. But uh, that's, okay, what, I what, mean, that's, what, honestly, that's my feeling for Seth MacFarlane, no, so I'm going with what, low expectations. What do you want out of the Orville? I just... It won't happen. I want to see <laughs> Seth MacFarlane just not suck. Happen. Just not what? suck. <laughs> okay, yeah, I've watched the first three episodes, because I'm trying to like this. Because Seth MacFarlane, I like Family Guy. I think it's funny, it's over the top. I enjoy most of it. I, I, I enjoy short, like, but it's, third season. But that's okay. That's what it's supposed to do. That's what you're looking but for. But that's the thing. Like, Spiel is so brainwashed because it does yeah. have to, like It's good. And it's not... It hasn't but been good if you're going for that, for the Orville, you don't get that. Okay, so you're going for a serious space show like Star Trek. You don't get that either. So it's like, I don't... Like, it's trying to give you a morality thing, but then put a fart joke in there. And it's like, I don't... I don't know what you're trying this to do. This alien farted. It's like, be, be something. Just be something. Like, you can't be both. You have to be one or the other because you're not good at being in the middle. We don't need a middle one. We don't. We don't want this. I don't know how it's gonna stay on. I, I, to be honest with you. Well, and, and it, I feel like you know, especially because it's a sci-fi comedy, it's gonna have a higher budget and stuff. And it's like, it's, I mean, Seth MacFarlane's name will get Adrian so Pat far. Lickie is still like a fine line. Ah, and his ex-wife, of course. Uh, and I was married to her. Yeah, just this I was big old round head. And I said yeah, that movie where remember that movie where I was like married to Olivia Wilde or some bullshit like. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Um, we need another kissing scene, I think. They're ex-wife. They, they broke up. But, uh, but yeah, that, they're not going to get and that And there's other parts that are scene. almost funny, but they don't go far enough. So it's like, oh, okay. That's over. <laughs> I feel like my... I, I don't know if we were drinking too much already, but I feel like my Seth MacFarlane impression was pretty good there. One for his Seth MacFarlane, two for my Seth MacFarlane. I think mine was pretty good. I'm just saying. Um... At least serviceable. Yeah, but I'm excited to see what he does because he did such a good job with Veep, and and you know, it, I love will it be like like a like a um, office Veep type comedy where it's like you know multi camera oh, like that thing. like that Space Jitters one that yeah you know, that could be fun yeah show. that could be a fun they could do like a full series of something like that and that'd be a lot more professional than, than that Space Jitters one too you know? it'd be a lot more professional than the Orville too yeah um, <laughs> and hopefully um, funnier yeah I'm excited though I'm excited to give it a shot um, but. Um, well, I had one more HBO thing I thought. No, I didn't. Never mind. Okay, so you, you need to do the next one if you want. Or the last one. one? I have a bunch of other stuff, too. So okay, I, just keep going. Uh, okay, so I have a... This speaking not huge anyway. of awesome concepts right here, Matt. John Cena. Hey, I just read Kamel I, I I was going to put this, but I saw that you liked the... You, you liked I was this. like, yes. Yeah, I, saw, I was like, well, I commented on it. You like, wanted to put it please. all in you? Is that what it was? Yes. I want this all inside me. Like, all the way, just all the way in no loop. Mm -hmm. um, John Cena and Kamel Anjani are signed on... For a buddy cop comedy from the Zombieland director, is this cowboy poetry in, in of an orgasm for me? Probably, because I love John Cena. I love Kamel Nanjiani. He's so such a funny comedian. He and is. He does the, you can't see me, not Kamel. Hey, you can't see me. You can't see me. Uh, uh, 
He's a, a you know an amazing actor. Yeah. And and an, That's why I guess and, an amazing like comedian. And, and so I'm so excited to see and John Cena obviously hilarious in the in the, the comedy he, stuff. He's, he's gonna be full time soon. Like, well he's he had his last match with the Prince Roman Reigns. His last I didn't watch match. It. I didn't watch it, it was it ended shittily. But Well, because it was just John Cena getting beat up the whole time. The worst part was most of the paper was no, good, none of the the last couple matches at the end were just like we're here also. Hey, Brock Lesnar. We ran out of steam in the writer's room. Yeah. yeah. And, then, and then you see the one oh, guy in the writer's room. Hi. Um, so uh, it's, uh, the writer is, is uh, Murray Miller, who's written stuff you have not heard of. Uh, okay. Um, it, Promising. It, yeah. But, but it's directed by Ruben Fleischer, who is a dominant director and was amazing in, in that uh, role. Nothing much else has been said, but... We're gonna keep you informed as this develops because I'm excited for this. You know, but a lot of people like Buddy Cop. Buddy Cop is, is all Cena out of steam. Watch, 2017. It's all out of steam. But you know what I'm saying? We haven't had a good one in a while, so let's try this again. Let's let's see. Let's hey, what know, about that? Uh, what about that one on Netflix with uh, Will Smith, Bright, where he's teamed with an orc? But what if we switch it around and John Cena's the nerdy office dude and Kamal Nanjiani's the? I guy. buy the books. I'm Mad Cop. <laughs> I'm typing this thing. I broke it. Oh, I broke it. I broke the keyboard. That could be a shitty accent. I don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't want that. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm 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 willing to see more. Maybe what what if his name is Seymour? Just like John Cena, though. There's a lot of people that he's very polarized. Like a lot of people don't like him. A lot of people do like him as an actor. So are you like, saying that you, you think there's nobody really in the middle? People that go see him, like, John Cena sucks or something like that. Uh, oh, they'll be like, let's go Cena. Cena sucks yeah. during the during the movie. You know what? If we go to see this movie together, we start this chant. Let's go, Cena. Cena sucks. I like to hear that with for Roman Reigns because that I yeah, actually because I actually feel that for Kume. I actually feel that for Roman Reigns. He is so terrible. He's, he's a really good wrestler. He just can't talk. He's, and he tries I, so you know, hard. This whole John Cena suffering suck. I know we're not yeah, any yeah, wrestling fans here, but let, hear me out. This whole John Cena Roman Reigns thing that happened the last couple weeks. They John Cena did this to help him. I oh, guarantee. One hundred percent. Maybe they told him to, but he still did it. But no, he's but like, John Cena. We're going to talk. Does... We're going to talk on the mic, and you're going to talk too. And you're he, gonna, he knows. He, he knows his spot. star. His star is a little yeah. less shiny, and he's like, I'm going to get. The well, basically, he's over. like, he's doing. He's doing the hand in the yeah. face of the company thing over to him, which is has happened and worked well for Cena actually. Um, I hope it works for Reigns. If they're either that or just get rid of him at this point, like. He's, he's either going to be nuclear after this or he's going to well, be Well, because there's a time. better version of him, and it's called Seth Rollins. Like, just have Seth Who's Rollins. It's tag team now. Yes, and he's so. a good wrestler, and he's good on the mic. teeth. Oh, yeah, just do that. Hear a lot of wrestling. Mm. Wrestle, wrestle talk, guys. Yeah, uh, hopefully he gets him put back in, I guess. Yeah, he had to get, like, surgery because they got pushed up in his head. They didn't break. Ooh, they got pushed up in his head. Oh, so he had to get, like, them brought back down. And... Oh, no. Yeah, because he, he ate some steel pole. Yeah, he like when he came down, he was supposed to catch the pole or something, and he did not. He did not. He caught it. He did catch it just with these teeth. And so he came like right at like right after you saw there's something wrong. Like he's going, like, going like this, and like you look at his face, like oh no, he got derped. <laughs> it looked like all his teeth were gone. Like those gone. No, he finished all match with blood pouring out of his face. Of course he did because he's awesome. He's not a professional. Um. Ow. Speaking of rest, I got this. No, I got this. Okay, please. Speaking of blood, uh, oh, Mike, okay. did you realize what today is? Nine twenty-six. I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Outbreak day. Outbreak day, guys. Okay. And the last of. The, but by the way, okay. So keep. We'll talk about okay. the last of us because I, I was thinking, what if there was a mashup of the last of us and this is us? Like all those characters get killed, but or turn the. Meal over Mentor Ben to Do you it? think Sterling Brown would be the best clicker though? Like the best. He'd get an Academy Award for being a clicker because he's so fucking Um good. You'd like cry a little bit when he gets okay. killed. So the last of us two so they released a little bit of merch just this to like is tease the last you. of us. Just to like to tease you. Uh, so they put out a t shirt which was a black t shirt that said the last of us part two. Thumbs, uh, guys. You get two thumbs. P PS4 dynamic theme, which I guess was a uh, piece oh, of concept art and pieces from I the uh, one that from that now. first trailer. That was kind of cool. Uh, the poster, though, was the most interesting part. 
Uh, cause a poster, I'm going to go buy that, actually. I'm going to go buy that. Last year, on, uh, on Outbreak Day, they, they put a poster of Ellie's arm, and it was, like, down like this holding a knife, and there was, like, Vine's Commander arm, arm. Yeah, and it was, like, Vine's Commander. It was, like, really cool butterfly and shit. It was, like, really cool looking. Uh, the same artist did a poster this year, and it was... It was uh, looked like what is to be Joel's arm and like this aggressive fist holding a hammer. So I have an idea about that. This is my theory. Okay. I don't think that's Joel's arm. Okay. I still think that is Ellie's arm. If you remember the trailer, she's if, very uh, well developed arm. I don't know. Arm. If that's her arm, she is completely diesel, dude. That's but like, no. But that's the thing. Like her her, her hands are, are very messed up and like fingers are broken and she had very well defined uh, arms in general and also. That thing, if you notice, there's like a veiny thing going on, and I yeah. think that is the cordyceps in her bloodstream. You know what? It, I, it could have been a cut too, but it made it made sense to me when I first saw it. I didn't see it up close. It looked like a also guy's Joel's arm here. It looked Joel's like arm I actually tan her arms. I took a picture of it, uh, and it looked like a guy's arm up close to me. But when I first saw it, I was like, "Oh, this is that's Ellie's arm," and that's because I remember she also had a lot of cuts and stuff in the trailer. Yes. Like she was all beat yes. up. Like she took a, another for me that like I. I it would I make never, more sense because she is now, if especially if the theory that Joel is dead, you're stealing my you're stealing my thunder here, Matt. Because this okay. is what I'm saying. This lends to the credence yeah, so, sure. that Joel is not in this. Yeah. At least as a living creature. I think that I, I like watch okay. I, like it actually cemented this in my mind. I was like, this is a story of Ellie, and they have already said this is a story of Ellie, and this is a story of pain and suffering. Is that you know, it's yeah. not a story of, of life. Well, they basically said that that this is a there, there's a lot of darker stuff, even darker than that first. But there's a lot of dark. And, and that's and that's a huge. I, I feel like there's maybe there's gonna be more choice. It's in this, very possibly. sinister. Yeah, if, maybe if you compare the two things, because one's just like kind of maybe life. she goes straight murder the, machine. The knife, the knife is loosely in her hand, and there's butterflies on her and stuff. And then there's yeah. a. I mean, this one there's a wolf. You know, yeah. there's a freaking wolf face, face, a car on fire, and a hammer. It looks like blood on the end of it. There's you know, a like, lot of sinister intention. Oh, post. certainly, it was certainly. Cool. It was really cool. Very cool, bizarre. Yeah. Um, and that's also what, what, like, the juxtaposition of those two posters. I was like, that's gotta be Ellie's arm. It's a lot of muscle, though. But, but that's what. But, I, but if you know, like I said, watch that trailer again. You'll see her arms are really big in the trailer. Well, I mean, and you're and holding, it's just like she's surviving on her own. She's not. She's she's not sitting there playing YouTube. You know, just playing YouTube. I am an old playing with the YouTubes. She's on uh, the web. Yeah, uh, but but like she's she's out there like killing things and, and yeah. like you know building things and and you know doing things all things, the time physically. So so she you know she's not gonna be like a nanny pam. She's gonna have these big arms and stuff like that. She won't be a nanny pam. That's for sure. And as you saw, I, I'm going with the old thing. Uh, the um, but, but like as you so know, whipper snapper. Yeah, for sure. so like that gave me the credence to be like, and also just like her arm is not hairy, and Joel's is is, is a man's arm, you know, and that was definitely not. It didn't look male to me besides being muscular, and I had to like kind of go over it in my head. I'm like, no, that's that, and also the paleness of the skin. Like Joel's not that pale. He's like he's got that tanned luster to him, that bronzing. He does have a luster from being from being you know, luster. Yeah, in the sun and working with his hands. Yeah, there wasn't any real arm here on the arm either. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's, I, I really thought it was Ellie, and that's what now it's like. It's like this, this leads to maybe like a hint at a deeper, like a choice. A well, she definitely choices. looked like she was in a bad place in that first trailer. Exactly. Exactly. A bad place. Like, <laughs> oh, I mean, she's talking about literally. The song is about. I don't believe in God. I'm going to just fucking murder a bunch of people. Like, <laughs> that's what the song is about. She's saying, she and I feel no, fear no evil because I'm blind at all. I will, with her, through her, through her, of course. Not like in real life. Uh, yeah, no, but that honestly... It was a cool poster, though. The shirt was... Mm -hmm. Why did you, like, boring? No, the dog's like, we, we'll get a lot of money out of this, don't we? Um, like, they get the poster, at least. Uh, I got also, the, it, it, the, the wolf and, led, and the forest in the background led more credence to the rumor that is set in the specific northwest or Seattle. Oh, like more Middle Beach Whalers? We're meeting with trailers, guys. That's right. Tannis. Um, maybe Tannis is, is, is... Maybe that's where the Cordyceps of Bungus comes from. Tannis. That would be cool, actually. I'd be all right. I'd be down. Um, yes. It's, I, and also, I, the wolf, I think, also might symbolize Ellie as a lone wolf. As, like, like she's not with Joel anymore. Or she's the wolf dead. among us, maybe. Like, the wolf and she's she's become this murder machine now. Because the one thing she had that left her attached to this earth died, you know. Yes, the one she that already she had her, her girl that she liked died. Now she yeah. had 
the dude that you really cared for. Well, like, or possibly, like, like it, maybe it's not even that he died. Maybe she just found out what he did, you know? And, and that broke her. You know, but there's so much, so much just, like, rich pathos here that, like, just... I can't wait to open it up and, and read this. Last of Us is, is, is doing this for us. And yeah. The, this is the, the, the thing they really wanted. They almost were going to make a sequel to this. And it's like, the more I think about like, this, it's like thinking about, like, someone telling me, like, about a delicious sandwich, and I'm just like, I want to eat that sandwich. And then, like, oh, so that sandwich and then has the cordyceps fungus yes. on top of it. And, and then you're like, I still kind of want to eat that. It smells good. Yeah. It smells good to me. Oh, no. Ah. Uh, and then you're just eating a man's head, but you think it's a sandwich because you have course that's what it's a sandwich. Um, yeah, I mean, if I want to, if I want to turn into one of those zombies, I'm gonna go full. I don't want to be like just regular zombie dude. I'm like, ah, I'm man, kind of head. I'm yeah. really mad. Yeah, I don't be that guy. No, I don't even like yeah, the fungus head or bloater or something. Yeah, something. I don't even bloater though. The bloater like because he's just so slow and he's I just shoot it because you got somebody that's fat. Yes. fungus people. I am. I want to be the running guy. I want to be the guy. I mean, I'm probably blind. I'm, I'm so right. fit. Except they have no yes. face. I'm pretty much blind anyway. Except so they have so mostly no face. Just yeah. like this part of my jaw. Well, like enough fungus. to like spite your neck. Like off, fungus. Throw it out. <laughs> okay, let's talk about that. That was, that was a good. That was good. I'm glad we got to talk about that. Uh, and I'm glad we all showed different uh, opinions of that originally. Um, I want to talk I'm about like, before we get to like we have a couple. I have two bigger things. And actually, probably should have said this last, but. Because it's an awesome Save the best thing. I want to talk about Divinity Original Sin 2. All right. I just This game just came out. Uh, actually, it came out on the 22nd, I believe. Uh, I picked it up last week, and it has been a ton of fun. I should give it a 9.6 and said it's, pro it's probably going to be a classic RPG. And after and I, I luckily I read the article after reading, but I, I also read price. How much was it? Uh, uh, 44 dollars but it is so much fun. It's like twenty bucks. I put like I've yeah, and cer certainly it'll definitely be worth it for you at twenty bucks because there's hours and hours of fun in it, and it's uh, you know, this, the, basically you um, you can build your own character custom to start out like the, the custom you know generic hero, but they also have this system called the Origin Hero System where there's uh, I think it's let's see there's I think it's five people five different people uh, that you can play as that have a full storyline of their own. So, so not only can you, but you, but it also lets you select, like, you, it's not totally guided, so, like, if you want, you can select their answer, or you can select the generic answers, too, so, like, if it's, like, I don't think my character is this, like, the one character who's an assassin character, like, all her, character, all her selections are, like, I'm going to murder your face, and you're, like, I don't want to select that, though, because I don't want to get in a fight with this guy, so. Or, I want to murder your yeah, nose, yeah, like, like, I'm just, it's, you're okay, like, so I select that one, so I don't have to fight them. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, but with me, dude. But it's cool because each one has a very distinct personality, and they get their own kind of dialogue lines, and they also get their own insights into situations uh, that other characters don't get, or your generic character won't get. So it's like the one character has like voices in her head, and she wants to speak to this person that can like basically see uh, like spirits and things, and she's just like, "Oh, I'm going to tell you what the spirit is," and then you automatically start attacking her because the spirit takes over your body, and you're like, "Oh." That was a mistake on my part. Okay, like, and, and but it's fun because like then you care for the characters a lot more because you're like, okay, well, I can't, I have to talk to these people differently than I was because I don't want to have to fight everyone. <laughs> and, and and then the, the one character and, and so so they all they all have unique, cool things and but they also have a lot of uh, the skills are really fun. So there's there's like um, they have basically all the elements. So there's water, fire, earth, heart, air. And hard, uh, and there's so it's only a Captain Planet. There technically is hard if you think of uh, like stabbing people in the heart. Or even that. Um, but um, they they have all, all the elements. They also have necromancy, and they have um, warfare, which is basically like your your if you're a, a melee warrior of some sort, and they have ranger type things uh, as well. But um, yeah, it, it was really fun, and it's really. Fun to you can either pick the class one of the classes they have uh, pre-made for you, or you can make your own, which I've done so far. Uh, I'm trying to make right now. I'm trying to make a, a person that has warrior skills but can also heal. So it's like kind of like a paladin character, which isn't one of the classes, but but um, I'm trying to make one of my own. You know, it's, 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 it feel. it's fun. It gives you a lot of replayability. I've actually like started a couple of different characters just to kind of check out how th things work together. There's also like you like uh, for instance, you have you can throw a rock that like creates a oily pile 
and then you can land on fire. If you have, so if you, if you have earth, if you have earth and fire, you can like throw the rock and then light the rock on fire. Or you can make poison explode by lighting it on fire as well. If you have heart, though, can you hug the bad guy? And you, if you're that? on fire and you have water powers, you can actually put, you can actually like shoot yourself with the water powers, and it'll actually put out the fire, so you don't get the burning damage, which is cool. Like so, so it's, it's a lot of fun uh, kind of synergy with with different classes and stuff, and. Um, it definitely makes it like so far. I, I have two different like full squads of four people that like have completely different skills. Just because it's fun to be like, I want to see what like what if what if this necrom like necromancer person, but also a knight and, and knights have fire power. If you hit somebody with fire power with one of your guys and the other guy hits them with water power, will put out. Yeah, to put it out. So like, you actually could de like like hurt yourself by like doing less damage to that guy, but also you can. Uh, they, and then they have like symbol powers too. They're just like cause a rainstorm, so it doesn't hurt people, but it will put out. So it's good for like putting out large swaths of fire and stuff. Um, it's 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 been a lot of fun so far. Uh, it's really challenging because a lot. First off, a lot of the bad guys use firepower, and that just kicks your ass if you if you're playing like normal or above. To be water, do then. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Like, I, I didn't have a water person, so I'm just like, okay, I'm just getting burned alive. Hooray, this is fun. <laughs> um, and, and then I realized, like, when I when I played the... Because I, I was like, oh, I don't even need, a, like, a healer because my guys just kick so much butt. Then they were letting me on fire the whole time. I was like, oh, DX. Okay, I get it. <laughs> I need to balance my team more. Um, yeah, but... It's it's definitely worth it. Uh, I jing, like I said, I jing it a nine point six, and I feel like I feel the same way. It's, it's probably one of the best RPGs I've played in a very long time. I played the original Divinity, uh, Divinity Original Sin as well, which is uh, was kickstarted as actually kickstarted game, one of the first kickstarted RPGs. Did you games. kickstart it? Um, I, no, I didn't kickstart that one. I actually that was one I kind of regretted not kickstarting because uh, it was so much uh, fun. But um, that game was not like couldn't hold a candle to like the storyline in this game. So much fun. Uh, that's all I have to say about that. I just wanted to put that out there because I, I really am enjoying it currently. Uh, but let's talk about uh, the. I just no, closing your. Yeah. Let me close my thing. Uh, it chapter two, man. Have you heard about this? They have a release date for it already. Well, already. Yeah. Well, that's, that's right, man. It made some money. So. Nine six two thousand nineteen. Well, that's the thing. I think it's the highest grossing uh, Stephen King film of all time. Highest grossing R rated horror movie. Horror movie, yeah. So they, well, yeah. The caveat they put there. Uh, it's gonna. They're gonna have a release in IMAX, and the only the only story note they have so far is that it's gonna take place twenty seven years after the original. Yes. Uh, movie. Uh, and there's, so there's already like I guess a lot of the actors that are in are trying to cast like their older selves. And I think the Nerdist did something like this. Yeah, too. like one of them cast uh, they they said they wanted Ewan McGregor to play them in the sequel, and like just why not? All right, you know, pick 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 call your shots. There's no word. Finn Wolfhard. Who do you want to be? Finn Wolfhard. There's no uh, there's, there's human's name. There's no word yet though on if there's going to be an orgy scene as uh, the original books, the original story the source material had. Although that Clown was sex. With, that was with eleven to thirteen year olds. Stephen King. Your hey, blast. it's like George R. R. Martin. Your move. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Oh, oh you had oh two people had sex. Oh, and George R. R. Martin's <laughs> like hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> only oh oh only two children had sex in yours. Hmm. And also, the, this orgy, it takes place, it's like six dudes and one girl as well. Yeah. Gross, man. Gross. Stephen King. Lots of cocaine. Um, doesn't happen in the movie, though, guys. So what? So they, they no friend bringing kids to the movie. There's no child orgy. The director's cut. There will be... Finn Wolfhard will be... Wolfhard. Oh, no. Oh, no. You stop that. <laughs> stop that. Bing! He says the best name, like... I think his name must be like Alexander yeah, Stevens, it's and he's like, "Oh, what do you want your actor to be like?" Finn Wolfhard, and they're like, "Okay, sure, sure. whatever, man." <laughs> Nobody else got that name. He's like, "My name's Michael Douglas." Like, no, you can't do that. That's not your name. He's like Finn Wolfhard. Like, okay, <laughs> sure, <laughs> okay, whatever, man. You're calling the shots, I guess. Yeah, right. You're in the movie, right? Is there a Michael Douglas Jr.? Okay, just Finn Wolfhard. Just go for that. <laughs> Michael Douglas. I don't know. Michael Dumas? No, I just uh, Last thing I got on my list here, Matt. Uh, Arnold, the best. Arnold Schwarzenegger throwing some shade at, at uh, Terminator Genesis. Yeah, the movie he was in. He said, Fuck the next, you, Arnold Next Terminator film, we're ignore Genesis. Yeah, I heard about this. And it also will not be called Terminator 6. In case you're wondering. Yeah. 
Hey, Arnold, you can't throw your shit at the movie. You were. I'm not going to tell you the sneaks. You were all up in that movie, okay? <laughs> no, it was on CGI. Yeah, you were not like an extra. I love movie. You were not like like the guy that just like. You were all in that movie. That's one for my Arnold and two for his material. Making it shitty. Um, it wasn't shitty. It was just mediocre. I don't. I, I liked it for what it was worth. I knew it wasn't like a good movie or anything. It was just. Man, this is how you know the next one's going to be good, though. First off, Linda Hamilton's back as Sarah Connor. Yay! Yay! Um, She's not too old for anything. Arnold is back as the Terminator. Also, this Terminator's aging poorly. It's like, did you? It's like I was around a lot of heat and I started melting. They put me in, like in the forties and I'm very old now. I started. I eating, have a sausage. I, I, I just did an oven, but I didn't get my skin fixed. Yeah. Um and uh, also James Cameron is back to produce it and he has written the first treatment on the script. I, they, uh, obviously, he doesn't have time to write the whole script because he's, he's doing eight Avatar movies. <laughs> like, James Cameron, it's still no, happening, guys. Do, do your fucking Avatar movies. I don't want to see you. It's still <laughs> happening. Uh, the Avatar movies, by the way, are starting filming no. like, this week. I don't believe it. They're starting filming. Supposedly. I 100% do not believe they are filming this week. No. I actually didn't put them in there because I didn't no. want to bring up Avatar again, and then you did. You, you got the CL. Well, it's, it's Cameron, James Cameron's fault. He's like, I wrote this treatment. What are you doing? Get back in the writer's room and write these Avatar yeah. movies. Hey, you George R. R. Martin of movies. Oh, Get over there. Jeez, dude. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, Cocoon 2's coming out soon, too, yeah. right? You jackass. Titanic 2 Electric Boogaloo you next. Idiot. Get, the fuck Get out, out of here. <laughs> Get back in your room. I'm going to write a really cool eight Avatar sequels. Like, Get out of Go. Go away. Why? Nobody no asked for this. The second one of these. Like, maybe like two years after the first Avatar came out, an Avatar sequel to make an Avatar franchise would have made sense. But, no. Nobody wants nobody this. Nobody cares anymore. Nobody's like, oh, those were characters I, I remember their names. Do you remember any of the names of any of the characters in that I movie? I, I, will, I, I will name three. I, name three. There's Jimmy. He was one. a guy. He was a guy in Jimmy. the thing. Okay, that's one. Um, the wheelchair guy. I'm going to pretend that was one. No, just, you can look this up afterwards. Jimmy is the guy in the wheelchair. Um, General... General... Jake, General Jake is the Jill old guy. Jill, Jake Jill, Jill, yeah, Jake Jill. I was played, he was played by uh, Stephen Lang. But 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 um, pretending to be Jake Jill not, in the future, that that was him aged. Stephen Lang, brother of Artie Lang. Uh, not many people know that. Um, Two and uh, Sigourney Weaver is the character. She played herself. She played herself. Yeah. <laughs> I thought she was Ripley, so that's good. I'm yeah. glad you told me that. Believe it or not, I'm trying to think. Believe it or not, she played herself. I'm trying to think. They're Boom! Trying, they're trying to bring the. Aliens. I got the puns too, guys. Oh, oh, oh I got the puns. Good with dad jokes. Good with dad. Sick classy guys. Terrible. Sweet. Love your faces. Good night, boom. I am.